Hi, I'm uh, Danny, a student intern at Sports Ed Global, and today I'm joined by Steve Salas, uh, prominent author and mindset expert for athletes and businesses. Thank you for your time today. Thanks for having me, Danny. I can't wait to share sort of a little quick five minutes of our, our world. Yeah, looking forward to it. So um, my first question for you today is, you gained extensive academic and professional experience in the area of sports psychology. What do you say is the most important mental quality for an athlete to possess? Well, when I got asked a question by one of your colleagues recently, I, had to, I did have to think about it. It was something that I had to reflect on, but I would probably say it's a, it's a standard word, but learning to be resilient. Um, and there's another word called being stoic and, and having to learn. And I said on a recent podcast, you, you can't go to a shop and buy a book for 10.99 and learn to be resilient. So I think that a lot of the athletes that I support and work with and mentor are really the ones that hang around for five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 years. They're the ones that um, can suffer setbacks and bounce back as quick as possible. Uh, there are obviously lots of other elements to mindset around around to be successful, but I would say, yeah, resilience is probably number one aspect. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I can imagine just being able to learn from issues, because you're always going to experience issues, so being able to learn from them and overcome them is such an important aspect to have for a long career. Yeah, the average person sees the 11 players normally playing on a Saturday. They don't see the seven substitutes and then the 15 players that aren't even in the squad. So yeah, uh, it's important for the trained eye to know that, yeah, bouncing back is key. And the next thing is really understanding your journey and how, how that's going to fit into the sort of team ethic, which could be used in business as well. You know, it's, it's looking at people's super strengths, Danny, really. Yeah, great. Um, with the uh, nine years as a vice principal, what would you say is the main lesson you took from that that you're able to apply to your coaching career? Well, we've just spoken off air very briefly about the importance of, the importance of obviously, um, being a great leader and the importance of strategy. I think strategy was a major thing. What is strategy? Strategy is really long-term planning. Strategy is how that fits into medium-term planning. And I think for experience and a lot of failures that I've had, Danny, it's also about working backwards. Um, but working backwards means that you've got to have a lot of uh, memories in the bank of success. Um, so I think that that's hugely important to, as a vice principal in terms of how we implement that into business and sport. Um, strategic um, skills are something that I had to learn. It's not something I was born with, so it's important that young people listening to this know that. But I also think about, you know, the, the importance of teaching and learning. You know, that was, that's really my bag. It's how we add value to people performance. And notice I say not athlete, I say people, because my work is working with, with all types of people, not just athletes, around how we develop a process for them to fulfil their super strengths in life. Yeah, well, I guess sport is just kind of one area that you can apply your knowledge into that it actually it kind of works for anyone in different careers as well. Like it doesn't have to be a, like a sporting pathway that you're using your knowledge to apply to, if you get what I mean. Yeah, definitely. And um, I do a very simple, simple process. The, the rag rating, a red, amber, green. Green's being someone's super strength they're, they're brilliant at. Amber's being areas of development and red's being things that they're not so strong at. Um, and I believe in lots of sayings, but I believe in one of them, which is show your strengths and hide your weaknesses, particularly in performance. Um, but hiding your weaknesses when you um, wanting to be vulnerable is also a potential problem. So, yeah, I won't go too deep on it, but vulnerability is also a huge aspect of my work. OK, cool. Um, and then finally, with both your uh, coaching and playing careers in mind, do you believe the physical or the psychological aspects are the most important for success as a footballer or athlete in general? Well, off air, we spoke that you're a sports scientist, right? So um, yeah, we, we call it the four corner model, technical, tactical, physical, psychological. I have to be very holistic here, meaning the whole athlete. I think they all they all play an equal part. Um, the work that I do is very bespoke to each and every athlete. Some players might need more psychological support than physical support. But at the same time, for the long term player development, we definitely are the four corners. So technical aspects, tactical, physical, psychological, they're, they're honestly, they're all equal. They all they all add value to to you know a World Cup victory type thing. Yeah, well, I guess all of them support each other really. But you need the psychological to be in place to be able to get the physical in place. Yeah, blended approach, we'd call it, Danny. Yeah, yeah. so just a very sensible approach to the whole player. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, yeah, thank you. That was really interesting. Um, great speaking to you. And um, yeah, thank you very much for your time again. Thank you, Danny. Top man. Cool. Cheers, buddy. Uh, have a great day. Yeah, and you.